just drive over trees and everything. We do. We sure do. That's why I can't have a new truck. Got his uh, racer too. Um, I guess got your first signal this morning, ain't you? Yeah, it's a other than a piece of camp I think it's a button. It's been flattened. We may have used it for a poker chip. Yeah, right there's a shank. shank. It's got that crud on it that comes out of this hill. I'm not. Huh. Can you make anything out of it? No. I can't. It's a button though, isn't mm -hmm. it? But it's not an eagle button. It doesn't look like an eagle button. We're back down here on the fort that we hunted a couple of weeks ago. And we found a little spot right down in through, I guess right down in, where was all them at? Right down in here? Yeah, right, right down in there, I believe. Anyway, I found one piece of camp lead so far, but that's it. The fort is up that way. And out of this hole here, about six inches deep, probably. I've got a three-room mini ball, but it's got a flat top. I think it's probably been fired, maybe carved, I don't know. Get it in, get it cleaned up, and see. It's what we're after, though. Well, it's shout-out time again, and I want to do a shout-out to Northwest Georgia Digger. You see his channel there on your screen. Check him out. I think that you will like Northwest Georgia Digger. Like, subscribe, and share. Be sure and tell him that Seven sent you. Right up under that great big old root right there. Came in a pretty good signal, 1232. And I have finally got a 69 today. Jeff called me over here and said he'd found a couple. So, uh, glad that he did. That's a great find. You had a good day. I've Bo. had a real good day. Best day I've Sh had in a long time. Show us what you got here. Got a, uh, a little Henry cartridge, and then, uh, of course, got a uh, the Dragoon 44. What'd you call that one? That's a Smith 50. Smith 50. And then got that, I think it's a Maybe a fired Williams cleaner or something. That's, you can tell. Yeah, I think so. And then uh, 358s and uh, 269s. A uh, little coat button had been mashed out to, I'd say, a poker chip. A little carved, uh, I guess, 58 three ring. That's, you can tell it's still got the rings. Yeah. Another little carved uh, bullet. Uh, the little uh, latch for a uh, epaulet. And then just found that coming out as a cuff. Uh, looks like general service and then, of course I found this general service I didn't want to get out of course you can tell it's 
it's in rough shape and then just a few pieces of camp lead. You can get your camp lead out. I got mine out because that's about all I found. I found a lot of camp lead. I found a, uh, a 69 and a 58 and a little debuckle that's all been up. And that was about it. It's but been a good day. You had a hot. good day. Yeah, very hot. Uh, you're using that macro race, racer too. Uh huh. Yeah. I am. I started out with my AT Pro, and went to my 3030. I found the uh, uh, 58 with the Pro, and then found the 69 with the CTX. I didn't do as good as I did last time, but well, you beat me last time, so I yeah, just got you we're beat. even, ain't we? Yeah, we're even. Well, I got a letter here from. Earl from Virginia, he sent to me, sent an email wanting my address, and he told me it uh, wasn't nothing bad, would probably put a smile on my face, so I'm going to open this on, and include it in the video here. Hey, I think there's more than paper in there. Check it out. A seventeen ninety eight large scent. Goodness gracious. Earl, why did you do that? Did you send that to me? Seven. Senior post on the Hoover Boys number eighty nine where you said I want one of those so bad. You were referring to a 1798 large scent. The reason that I want this particular date is that it ties in with uh, a lot of local history here uh, where the Revolutionary War soldiers got land grants and they began pretty well to settle in our area here in 1798 and I've always wanted one of these uh, large sense, a 1798 large scent to uh, kind of commemorate that. He said, I started thinking and I dug out my coin box and found the perfect fit. I must say, this is not the most perfect coin, but details of the face and back and date are still visible. The information at the bottom of the print explains the location and the significance of this coin. I dug it personally in a dirt pile just about a hundred yards to the left of the church that is pictured. It is now a retirement community and lost forever. From me to you, this relic is now in your care and protection. God bless. Happy hunting. A treasure is where you find it. Earl from Virginia. And I guess he means this church here. You know, that is significant because uh, the book that I did on uh, the state park here, the history of an old church that uh, was uh, had a lot of the first settlers that came here uh, in 1798. I tell you what, Earl, you shouldn't have done this, but I will always treasure this as much as I do uh, our friendship. And I told you that I would include uh, the opening of this on the video and I'm going to do that on this video here. Man, I appreciate that. That is that is something else, but uh, you're quite a guy. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to send you a signed copy of my book that deals with the old log church that they've made a state park out of now and the history of the settlement of uh, our county. So thanks buddy. Happy hunting.